your uh, fresh face for this weekend. <laughs> um, explain to the people watching what brought about this Daytona trip. Yeah, just uh, you know, started training a little bit earlier this year, and uh, just for the uh, ring across the crowd. Uh, races that we have up in Canada. It's uh, part of the Triple Crown, Crown Series. Um, there's a ring across, then it goes outdoors, and Supercross. So um, I was able to get on the bike a little bit earlier this year and uh, decided why not do Daytona. It's kind of been on my things to do for a while and uh, you know make it 450 main. So that's why we're here. Just uh, you know kind of have fun and uh, you know hopefully get in that main and dice it up with those guys. Yeah, the this race has such a history to it that. Is that why you picked Daytona, or is it just any Supercross that worked with your schedule? Yeah, it just kind of worked with my schedule, and uh, I'm a technical rider, but I also really like the outdoors too, so it's kind of a little bit of a mix of that, so um, I think I have a good shot of, of doing well here, so that's kind of why we picked it. What are your thoughts going in? Like, we've seen you race some national races before, and so to compare, have you done any Supercrosses before this? Uh, I did uh, 250 uh, West a few years back when I was younger, uh, when I was like 18 or 19, um, and did all right, you know, a couple 15 places and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I haven't really tried 450 yet, so that's that's what we're doing here. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, I have a good shot. And to get here, what were the steps you had to take to to make this happen? Was it a big deal or was it pretty easy? Um, it wasn't too bad. It just uh, Cooperation with uh, with our, our affiliation in Canada there and uh, all the paperwork and that kind of stuff. So it wasn't too hard. And uh, you know, big thanks to my team, uh, Honda Canada GDR Fox Racing Team, for getting the bike down here and getting everything set up and uh, getting organized to do this. Yeah, and coming into Daytona, like you just walked the track. You know, what are your initial thoughts on the track? Uh, a little bit different than I expected. It's actually a little bit more technical than I thought it would be, and uh, but uh, I think once it gets rough and gets beat down, it'll be pretty good. Obviously, the bike, your number is 100, so did you have to get the Josh Hansen approval to run it? I didn't get the approval, but uh, I actually, uh, he wrote on my Instagram photo there, and I think he was pretty pretty okay with it. I haven't seen him here or talked to him, but uh, you know, hopefully that's all right. I didn't mean to steal his number or anything like that. It's just that... I asked for the lowest number and that's what I got, so uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, so hopefully I can represent it well. Yeah, do you feel an extra need to have like some style or some, maybe throw some, some width? <laughs> uh, not really, I'm just gonna, it's just a number, um, you know, I've been a lot of numbers in my lifetime, so it's just another, just another one. And do you have a set goal in your head or you just come here, have fun, finish it out healthy? Yeah, I mean, biggest things have fun and, uh, you know, make that main and, uh, you know, from there maybe my, my goals will change a little bit if I make the main and uh, go from there, I guess. Cool, man. We'll have fun today and good. All right. Thanks a lot.